Is the coronavirus affecting the music industry? Let's talk about it. Intro. What's up, creative faces? Ella Bon said from Creative Sound. Let's talk about this coronavirus, this thing that's going viral, right? Around the country and everybody is, is just talking about it. Everybody's in panic mode and there's just more and more things that are just happening because of it. Is it necessarily affecting the music industry? How does this affect me per se? Now, my thoughts on it is, I'm not really that worried about it. It's not something that catches my concern per se. I look at it like this. If I have the coronavirus, then so be it. If I die from it, then you know it is what it is. That's obviously what the universe has in store. However, at the moment, I do not have the virus as I can tell, but the things seem to be creeping up rather quickly and it is affecting me as a music industry professional. Recently, there's been a bunch of big events that's been canceling one by one. You got the South by Southwest that just confirmed that they're canceled. You got the EDC that canceled recently in Miami. And it's just been other major events that's been canceling, you know, events that holds a large crowd of people in one area. And as of this video right now, Coachella is still yet to confirm if they will be canceling or not. There has been a lot of big major entities that pulled out, but they have not officially canceled so keep an eye on that. So just imagine all of these big groups, these big events that are canceling all of a sudden, just imagine how it affects jobs. It's a major concern. Just imagine how many people lost money due to this event. Austin, Texas already de declared this as the state of disaster or the state of the emergency. I would think that if something was declared on that level, that will involve you getting a refund for any events that you like already booked, booked the flight for, you booked the hotel, you got things planned, and then now it's canceled because of this virus. I'm not really sure about how all that works. I just know that a lot of people are really upset because they lost money. And so, you know, you have to like figure out a way to make that money back and you know, I don't know. Now, depending on who you are, this may or may not have affected you. However, I can see this moment being more so a creative moment for a lot of people. You know, now that you're not going to the South by South or you, you, you probably was on your way to Coachella, although they didn't cancel yet, but a lot of people has already made up their mind that they are not going due to this virus breakout. So I can only imagine that YouTube will climb even higher because now people are at home and you have more time to, to be more creative. A lot of people are going crazy, hitting up the supermarkets and stashing up on, on items, just in case this is something bigger than what it really is. So I would imagine a lot of Facebook Live, Instagram Live, YouTube videos live, on YouTube as well. I will be going live as well, posting more videos. Definitely want to boost your immune system and making sure you stay up on fruits and cl eating clean and purchasing natural herbs that helps your body stay strong. They're saying that this virus is attacking more so the elderly people, the people who so immune support is not that great and dealing with medical issues. So they are more vulnerable to, to this virus, so to speak. But anyway, it's just a good idea to just get in the practice of staying clean. You know what I mean? Uh, wash your hands. Don't, don't put your hands in your face, that type of thing. Keep hand sanitizer next to you. They say it needs to be at least 60% alcohol or more. And believe it or not, they're starting to say, Everyone needs to keep their distance about maybe six feet away from each person. If, if you don't know them, you know, to keep, keep your distance. Anyway, all of the stuff is just pretty overwhelming and it definitely lowers your vibration. And that's not what I'm on right now. I, I don't really need all of this negative. I understand that there's an, an emergency going on and it is affecting people and death is involved possibly. But at the same time, if if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to die in front of my keyboard, laying down a chord, laying down a dope beat. That's just how I feel. Please don't hate me. Don't chastise me. Don't send negative thoughts over here because that's just how I am. You know, we need some type of positivity somehow, somewhere. So I'm going to be still making beats. I'm going to probably be making, a, editing a video or something, creating a logo for someone. I'm not gonna allow this virus to hold me back and, and prevent me from being who I am or creative 
as I want to be. And I hope you guys take that in this video. I'm sending you positive vibes over the video waves. So if you need to take off for work, you need to stay home because of this virus, you got to do what you got to do. I hope that you're watching my videos and um, hit the bell icon, subscribe to the channel, share the video and all that good junk. You know, you, you might as well get into music production, learning more tips and tricks because that's what I do on this channel and I really do appreciate that. I promise it's the safest thing that you could be doing right now. Anyway, that's all I got. I just wanna to touch in and be encouragement to you guys that are, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely one of those times, it's, it's crazy out here, but uh, you know, it is what it is.